Okay, I'm here. Hello everyone, Dark Python here, and we're going to be starting our D&D campaign. Um, for those keen-eared of you, uh, you would have noticed that I did restart the music because I forgot that I needed a cup of tea. But we're back. So the music will now fade out ever so slowly by using a volume slider on YouTube. Top, top quality stuff right there. And we will go back to the scene. I am, yep. And here we go. And here is everyone, and Josh has deafened and muted himself, so he needs a flick. Josh. And he is... He's back. Awoken. Cool. I'm guessing he was just listening to stuff on the stream, and then that's when he heard me. Uh, Did yep. you just meow at me? Yes. <laughs> Okay, so we're starting off this Such way, thing we? that happens. Yep. <laughs> right, well, I'll just hand over to the Hobbit. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was sudden. Make a priority. Uh, yes, priority speak of me, please. Oh, yes, sorry. Okay, there you go. um, so, if everybody remembers, last time we left off, you guys had just rescued a kid from a life of banditry, uh, slain, all of, slain all of his bandit friends, slash not such good guys, um, and you were on your way to the town of Tins Fool, which is the bottom of a large ridge of cliffs all across Nandrin. It's a really nice uh, town, you know, busy, bustling, smallish, but, you know, generally very well welcoming sits on the edge of a river there's a large waterfall going down and it's connected this is very common knowledge to the top of the town at the top of the cliffs tins height by a by a series of kind of platforms and pulleys which are sort of you know part uh, part physics based part magic based so you have got into tins with the halfling boy Dreon and you have asked around, and as Dreon mentioned last time, he's always wanted to become an apprentice tailor. You guys have decided to help him out with this, and asking around, you have found directions to a tailor's shop. So, on the way to the tailor's, you notice a number of interesting things on your way. Uh, fairly close to the tailor's is a taverna, which looks, ra which looks rather nice for those of you who want a bit of a rest then that would be a good place to hang out. Also nearby is a marketplace which is on the map to the bottom of the Patriots. So can everyone please let me know where they would like to go? I'm in the pub. I got that. I'm going to avoid the pub. Yeah probably a good <laughs> idea. Probably a very good idea. Yeah I'm, I'm, I'm considering it myself. Where's my vassal? The kid is here. He is not your vassal, and he is coming with me to the tailors. Okay, so you three are going to the tailors. That means you're dragged over to this room on the right here. I'm going to the market. You're going to the market? I think Gwiddy fancies some elven wine. Uh, okay, you fancy some elven wine. And um, your other com uh, companion, Jack, has already kind of left and started looking around the town by himself. You think he might be coming back to join you at some point, but it's not entirely clear where that will be. Um, Okie dokie, so we will start off with those of you who are in the tavern. What are you going to do? Well, I thought I'd start off by asking the barman if he's heard any jobs that need doing. Okay, so you walk into the bar and it seems to be quite quiet. It's actually late in the afternoon at this uh, point in uh, time. It's that like period between where afternoon becomes evening properly. You ask the barman and he kind of shrugs a bit and says, uh, nothing for you lot to worry about. What's that supposed to mean? Yeah. Uh, he looks a bit hesitant and says, really, it's nothing, uh, it's just local business. Uh... 
Uh, would you, uh, gentlemen and ladies, like a drink? Uh, I guess I'll have... I don't know, what do you have? Uh, we've got a number of local brews, which are very good. Um, we've got some wine from Suda, if that's more to your taste. Uh, cider from Alderos. I'll have some cider, thanks. No surprises Gwynny, there. Gwynny slams her hand on the table and says, Wine! He looks a little worried and quickly go, starts getting you guys wine and your... Whatever the heck it was you just saw. Cider! Cider! <laughs> Sorry. Okay, um... And is anyone else doing anything in the tavern at the moment? I don't know, who's in the tavern with us? Who's pink? Can I do... Sorry, can I do an insight check on the barman? Um, yes, you can. Can you roll for that, please? Uh, I've lost my character sheet. Uh... D20 plus your insight, which is two, probably. Wisdom, I think? Wisdom, yeah. There we go. Okay, he's high. he seems to be reticent about something, but you're not entirely sure what. Uh, he quite uh, he gets you your drinks and uh, takes the payment off you and starts talking to other customers. I'll just go sit back down and have my drink for now. I'll grill yeah. him later. I whisper to Scaramos, "Are you any good at intimidation? I'm not. I will have to double check my character sheet." <laughs> maybe the, maybe the DM should quickly go over to the other party so we can check these things out. Sure. Okay. Well, that's wow. a thing. Any nearby listeners are completely confused by. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um. Over to the tailor's shop then. So the two. No, the two girls and the rather nervous-looking halfling walk into the walk into the tailors. There's a middle-aged uh, man sitting behind the desk to the back of the shop it, in the chair, and he looks at us and says, "Ah, greetings, madams, young one. What can I do for you?" Why is that potato holding a shield? <laughs> 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 what? It's a chair, guys. <laughs> it's a chair. It's the back of the chair. <laughs> Why is the potato sitting in a chair? Cannot be unseen. <laughs> I was not going to comment on this fact. Anyway, there's a dude sitting oh. in the chair. <clears throat> Good evening, kind sir. I was wondering, our young halfling friend here would like to take an apprenticeship at your establishment. He looks rather dubious and says, uh, so, pardon, madam? Our young halfling friend would like to take an apprenticeship with you. He sort of looks past you at the halfling who seems to be standing behind you at the moment. says, what's your name, lad? To which he replies, he's at Dreon and sort of tugs at you slightly, too nervous to say anything else. Sorry, he's had 